This video gives a brief overview of Toxoplasma gondii. Note, not gondii. Toxoplasma gondii is a protozoan parasite of the phylum Apicomplexa. It is distributed worldwide and can infect all warm-blooded vertebrates, where it develops as an obligatory intracellular parasite. Toxoplasma was discovered in 1908 by French researchers Nicole and Manso as they were studying muscle tissues of the Gundi, a rodent indigenous to southern Africa. They discovered a unique protozoan and realized it was a new discovery. They named it Toxoplasma gondii, toxo meaning arc, plasma meaning life, gondii referring to the animal in which it was found. Interestingly, it was discovered by another researcher the same year in a rabbit in Brazil. Toxo has remained largely mysterious. In 2005, its genome was mapped and will hopefully be of aid in determining why some people develop toxoplasmosis and others do not. The definitive host, that is the organism that supports the adult form of toxo, is felines, but all warm-blooded animals can be infected. Infection occurs via ingestion of a cyst or an oocyst. An ingested cyst will release bradyozoites in the stomach and intestine. An oocyst will release sporozoites that differentiate into tachyozoites and invade the tissues. In both cats and other mammals, bradyozoites invade epithelial cells and start division. In cats, the cells will differentiate into gametocytes, which fuse to form a zygote that matures into an oocyst. The oocyst will be released by feces and the cycle continues. The oocysts excreted in the cat feces are not immediately infectious, providing a great strategy to reduce risk to cat owners. In other mammals, after bradyozoites start division, bradyozoites differentiate into tachyozoites. The tachyozoites will invade almost any cell, with invaded cells releasing more. The tachyozoites will then differentiate into bradyozoites and form cysts in the brain, liver, and muscle tissues. These cysts remain dormant within the host forever except for possible reactivation when the human immune system is suppressed. Serious problems can arise when humans contract toxoplasma, which we will cover in a moment. Toxoplasma can be contracted directly from cat feces, but also from soil, fruits and vegetables, as well as water sources contaminated with cat feces. However, meat exposure and consumption appears to be the major transmission route to humans. Toxoplasma gondii is a fairly common parasite. Over 6 billion people worldwide have been infected with Toxoplasma gondii. The prevalence of toxoplasmosis is declining in the U.S., but there are still about 1 million new infections each year and 750 deaths. It is the second most common cause of deaths related to foodborne diseases, despite not being well known. While it can be deadly, if you are infected, most of the time you may not experience any side effects. However, some people experience flu-like symptoms that may last weeks to several months. It has been seen that Toxoplasma gondii can cause symptoms when the immune system is suppressed. This parasite can cause eye or brain damage in unborn babies if left untreated when a pregnant mother is infected for the first time. Eye disease and inflammation of the brain and heart can occur in children and adults, but this condition is very rare. In order to protect their unborn child, Pregnant women should be tested to learn if they are immune to toxoplasmosis. If their blood does not contain the antibody for toxoplasmosis, they should take the following precautions to protect themselves. Wash their hands after handling raw meat. Wear gloves while gardening. Wash produce before consumption. Cook meat until well done. Clean litter boxes promptly. And avoid feeding their cat raw meat. Zombie-like activity has been observed in animals infected with Toxoplasma gondii. Rodents infected with Toxo have been observed to become fearless around cats and to even be attracted to the smell of cats in their urine, a trait that leads the rats to being eaten by the cats. People also spend a lot of time around cats, and we're actually pretty similar to rats when it comes to brain chemistry as upsetting as that might be. Humans may even be susceptible to the zombie-like activity. Several studies have found increased rates of toxoplasmosis among individuals involved in automobile accidents. However, as scientists, we know that correlation does not equal causation and more research should be done on this theory. If this video has made you anxious about owning a cat, don't be worried. 
In the United States, people are much more likely to become infected through eating and handling raw meat than from handling cat feces. Cats only shed the organism for a few days in their entire life. The chance of contracting toxa from them is very small. In addition, cats kept indoors that do not hunt prey or are not fed raw meat are not likely to be infected. 